Good afternoon and welcome to the wreath laying ceremony, Columbus Day 2012, in honor of Christopher Columbus. I am David Ross. I am the president of the Piave Club, which is sponsoring this event. Thank you for attending. At this time, I'll introduce the Knights of Columbus to present the colors, and then we'll recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord God, your spirit of wisdom fills the earth and teaches us your ways. You inspired Christopher Columbus to seek beyond the limits of the known world to discover a new world. Look upon us who are gathered here to commemorate and honor this man of vision, faith, and perseverance. Give us those qualities as citizens of this world, this nation, this city, to go beyond the boundaries of narrow-mindedness and prejudice and the false limits set before us, not to discover a new world, but a better world through our efforts and the sharing of our gifts and talents. We thank you for the blessings that you have showered upon us in our past, and we ask your continued help. Bless our president, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials that they may continue to serve the common good in the best possible way. Look upon all us gathered here. Keep us all safe and well and eager to discover each day the many possibilities that lie before us. May we always strive to, with gentle patience, do your will. Amen. Thank you, Father Metzger. <laughs> like to recognize the following guests. The Honorable Mayor of City of Columbus, Michael Coleman. City Attorney, Rick Pfeiffer. City Council Member, Eileen Paley. Linda Ketchum, Director of the Santa Maria. Mia DiRienzo, Miss Columbus Italian Festival. Londa Brunetto, Carol Pingue, Co-Chairpersons for the Columbus Italian Festival. Father William Metzger, Pastor and Administrator, St. John's Italian Catholic Church and Sacred Heart Catholic Church, the Knights of Columbus, and all the members and guests from the Piave Club. At this time, I'll invite Joe Contino, Public Affairs Chairman for the Piave Club, for some opening comments. Council Member Herschel Craig as well, thank you for coming. My name is Joe Contino. I'm the PR representative for not only the Piave Club, but the Columbus Italian Festival. Uh, some quick comments about Chris behind me. As you see, he's been cleaned. It was my efforts that started seven years ago to clean him another way, and that is in a public relations way. Uh, pop culture took a hold of this guy about 12 years, 15 years ago, and has done some damage. Uh, everybody has a perception of what this guy did or didn't do. If you all look at the back of your program, a lot of research on my part and the historian that wrote it is a great synopsis that I hope, the Italian Festival hopes, and the Columbus Piave Club hopes becomes the official stance of Columbus, Ohio. We have a federal holiday that bears the same name as our city. What a great opportunity to take the lead for all the pop culture um, incorrect or correct statements done for this guy. But even even what a great opportunity, a day off for federal and state workers across the nation to highlight this city that's named Columbus. 
I think more can be done to highlight what a great community this is on Columbus Day. Um, in 2005, for the 50th anniversary, I said it would be baby steps. And I think one or two people show up more each year. I think finally we'll get to where this is full. I believe when I was, uh, when I was 10 years old in 81, well, that sticks out uh, in my mind. This, this entire plaza was full of people in the Ohio University marching band on those steps for this event. Um, we'll get there. But cleaning Chris was a, a nice first step. I'd like to introduce great Mayor Michael B. Coleman. Mayor Coleman. I want to welcome all of you here. 57 years ago, on October 10th, 1955, Christopher Columbus statue was un uncrated here, right in front of Columbus City Hall. And so we stand here 55, 57 years uh, later to celebrate our 200th year anniversary, our bicentennial year. Our city was founded on February 14th, 1812. A guy by the name of Lucas Sullivan, just across this river, put a stake in the ground and founded Franklinton, which was the precursor to Columbus. And on this, on February 14th, uh, 1812, our city was named Columbus. And we're proud of that name. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. In fact, there was a debate, even back then, whether to call this city Columbus. There was a whole group of state legislators that was debating where the capital of the state should be located. Should it be in Chillicothe? Should it, should it be in Zanesville? Well, they decided it should be right here in the heart and soul of the state of Ohio. Should we call the city the Ohio City or should we call it Columbus. Well, the way that all worked out was a guy by the name of Joseph Foos, F-O-O-S. He owned a tavern right over here, a bar right over here across the river. And in the midst of that debate, whether to call us the Ohio City or Columbus, Joseph Foos, who believed in Christopher Columbus, founding a, a country, a whole new world, a whole new frontier, wanted the city to be named after him. So he invited the entire state legislature over to his tavern. A few drinks later, they went back to the state house and the entire legislature voted to name this community as Columbus. And so we are, and so we will ever be the city of Columbus. I'm proud of the city. I'm proud of what we stand for. I'm proud of our Italian American community. Uh, and all of you love our city just like I do. And so we stand here today in celebration, in celebration of our bicentennial, a time where we are to look to our past and be proud of it, to acknowledge where we are today, but to really use this year as the launching pad for the future of our city with Christopher Columbus standing behind us. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Coleman. Uh, I made an error earlier. I forgot to recognize Deb Roberts and her husband, Charlie. Deb has taken on the challenge of organizing our Columbus Day Italian Festival Parade for the past three years. And uh, she's also known as Ms. Duda because she is also the chief organizer and ramrod for that parade every year also. So Deb, welcome, thank you for attending. Knights of Columbus. Please present the wreath.
Thank you. John Contino, do you have any comments to make? I pass to you. you. Pass it back to me. Thank you very much. Father Metzger, will you please conclude our ceremony by benediction? Well, Mary, your story about the naming of Columbus uh, proves that old that old Roman adage, in vino veritas, in wine there is truth, you see, so. <laughs> in this case, I think it was whiskey. Well, you know, it's, sorry, it's in the same family. The same family. Same family. <laughs> in the spirit. <laughs> well, my blessing is uh, very short, uh, and actually uh, it's, uh, it's not unique to me. Uh, it actually is from the Old Testament. Uh, is from the book of Numbers and is referred to as the blessing of Aaron. But St. Francis of Assisi uh, was very fond of it, and he sort of adopted it uh, as his blessing to his, his brothers. And so I will close with that. The Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his face to you and have mercy. May he turn his countenance to you and give you his peace. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen.